about fossiling today. It's very rough and pretty stormy. The sea is very powerful today and it's also snowing. As you can see, right behind me, the sea is just very, very rough. So I've done quite a lot of footage of the sea so we can have a look at that. Hopefully we also find a couple of nice fossils as well. And I've got a nice little interesting clip of one of my favorite fossils at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy it. For these first few clips, I've put a soundtrack behind them so you can enjoy them without the wind noise. Hope you enjoy these lovely clips of the sea and the scenery around it, then we'll get on to finding some fossils. The exciting fossil we've got at the end of the video is a really rare and one of our best crocodile vertebra fossils. It's definitely worth sticking around to see that if you're interested. Last time it was this rough, me and my brother found an absolutely incredible ammonite nodule which we opened up on the beach. And here's a look at that clip. Hope you enjoy it. Then we're going to have a look around for some other fossils and also got a really exciting bellum knife fossil later in the video as well. Just going to make my way over to the beach now, where we can have a look for some fossils. Hopefully there's a few little bits and pieces for us to find after this really rough sea. partial ammonite specimen there's also this double ammonite specimen little one here and a larger one this had been left by another fossil hunter on a boulder so I'll put it back on the same boulder as well just thought I'd show you it before moving on Just over behind me, I found a really lovely bellumite fossil. It's a really big one. I've already exposed quite a lot of it with my hammer and chisel, 
but I'm going to reveal the last little bit and then we can lift it out of the shale. And hopefully it's a nice big complete specimen. The majority of vellum knights, which are the squid-like creatures, often fractured naturally in situ. So this one is in a big loose slab. Doesn't look to have many fractures at all through it. The majority of vellum knights have a good four or five fractures through. So hopefully this one is very intact and complete. Let's go and cover the rest of it. The Bellamnite fossil came out pretty well, came out in only two pieces, so that's something very easy to glue together at home and prepare. All in all it's been a nice little day out, not many fossils today unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Now we'll have a look at the special fossil at the end which is one of our favourites. This fossil is a fossil crocodile vertebra. It's one of the first that we ever found. We found it so long ago that at the time I actually thought it was an ichthyosaur vertebra. It's been one of the best preserved bones in our collection from a fossil crocodile for many years. We only have a couple similar to this. However, they aren't quite as complete. We were lucky enough to find this before the sea had been able to completely erode it. They're very often just found, just being worn, unrecognisable pieces of bone. 
However, this one was saved before any of that could happen. I hope you like it as much as we do. I'm very pleased to have this. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. That's awesome.